Tajik, and we're here today to do part two of our decorative jars of preserves for your kitchen. And so as promised, I did the dry jars in part one, and I'll be doing a wet jar to show you for part two. So without further ado, let me get started. What I have in front of me actually today, show you what we're going to do with the oil. I have some pepperoncini peppers. I have some black olives. I have some green olives. And then I have some hot pepper. Right? What it is necessarily focused on are the colors. Okay? We want this to be pretty and pleasing to the aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So I'm open up this jar. I have a plate here just in case I need to place anything. Pop these cans open. Start placing these peppercinis in the base of my jar, just like so. I do recommend straining them if any excess liquid. Make sure you get the excess liquid out of there. We have the peppercinis on the base. Now, I'm just kind of shaking them just to kind of get them into position. So we have them at the base of the bottle. Next, as I said, we're going to go to the black olive. So that's why I have a plate. I'm going to kind of get a few of them. There we go. Get the cover off of there. Take them out and put them in the plate so that they can drain. Or if you have a colander, you can use your colander. <laughs> okay, so we got some of these black olives onto our plate. We gotta. We made sure that our peppercinis are kind of layered, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start dropping these black olives in. I'm going to go ahead and go for the green olives now. Thankfully the ones on the top are already pretty dry, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting our green olives in for the next level. If you find that uh, it's a little too much juice going on there, just go ahead and utilize that plate or that colander that you have nearby. Alright, now that they've drained a little bit in the plate, I can go ahead and continue feeding them into the top of my bottle. So far, we have the pepperoncini. Peppers on the bottom, we have black olives on the next level, and then green olives above that. All right, so now that I have my green olives above that, the next thing I'm going to put in here, these hot peppers. Again, we're going for the color, right? So and I'm just going to get those right above for my next level there. Again, I'm going to get them out of this jar and put them in the plate just to make sure that these are hot. <laughs> you can smell them. Just to make sure that I drain them enough. I'm just making sure I evenly distribute them to complete that layer. And I can go for some more. 
This is coming along nicely so far. Okay, and then I'm going to top it off with the pepperoncini once I'm done with this layer. So I'm gonna go from the red to back to the black olives and then topping it off with the pepperoncini. Pour all of that out so that I can get the rest of these out seamlessly. I can sift that back into that bottle, no problem. Again, very important that you strain. I'm done with the pepper level, so now I'm going to go ahead and utilize this plate again for my black olives. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more black olives out of here so that they can start to drain a little in the plate and these are items ladies and gentlemen that you can get from your local grocer your local dollar store your local big lots very simple items to obtain so I'm just gonna gather what's left in this can and set it into my plate so that it can drain so I believe I got everything out of it. Now that we've completed our pepperoncini level, black olives, green olives, hot peppers, we're gonna add another layer of these black olives. And I've had them sitting on the plate, so they've drained. We don't definitely don't wanna place anything in here with too much of its preserved liquid in it, and I'll show you why at the end. So I'm just going and creating another layer of black olives here. Again, proportion wise, you can use these in different variations and whatever amounts that you, so please give that a little shake to settle it. And I'm done with my black olive layer. Finally, back to my pepperoncinis and I'm gonna go ahead and place these on the plate as well, just so that they can Again, drain. I'm going to take out quite a few because what I'm going to do with this top layer of pepperoncinis is actually press them just a little bit so I can fit as many as possible into that top layer. Since this is going to be the, the top, the final layer of our jar. So I think that is going to be enough, if not more than enough. If it's more than enough, then I guess I'll have to partake or indulge in one or two. You kind of want them to lay down at this point. So I'm just using my finger to help them get into that laying down position as opposed to standing, standing up for our final layer. I have some smaller ones left in the plate. I'm leaving those for last because as we reach the top of the bottle, you want to have the smaller peppers available. Again, gently giving those a little squeeze. And again, you're pushing them into position. So now what I'm going to do, because I've pushed it to its extent, I'm going to give this a turn. And if there's any additional liquid in there, I just made sure that I drained that out. So now that we've finished putting all of our preserves into our wet jar, we have, again, the pepperoncini peppers, black olives, green olives, hot peppers for that red color black olives and top it off with the pepperoncini. We're gonna grab some oil. This is where the oil comes in. We're 
just gonna top this bottle. I'm gonna let that oil go all the, seep all the way down. Let that oil seep all the way to the bottom. Give it a slow pour so that it, you know, has an opportunity to make it down there. And you're gonna fill this bottle up with oil. I don't want it to overflow, that's why I'm giving it a slow pour. And I have reached the top, so as you can see, I'm going to tighten this one up. Voila. Here it is. Your wet preserve jar, ready to add to your display. Set it up there next to the uh, dry preserve jar that we did in the last video, part two. Go ahead and check that out. If you would like to see the next video, all you have to do, hit that notification bell, drop a comment, give me a like, and come back and see me soon. It's simply me, Lisa G. Bye.